Hey, what's up everyone? This is Weapon X Comics, and this is my eighth haul video. Now, uh, I'm going to have a little bit more books than I usually have, and that's because um, if you've been watching, you probably heard that I've been trying to clear out the space around my comic book collection. I haven't really, really be, been able to uh, access it properly. And uh, Vin Crew, if you're watching, I finally found your box. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we could, we could get on that later if you're still interested. Sorry, sorry about the wait again. Um, but I finally found your box if you're still interested in that stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm just going to throw up everything that I have right now that was uh, waiting to be shown. Uh, just so I can uh, start putting everything away and start getting everything uh, back into order. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start it off. Um, uh, this is uh, Mr. Miracle number four here. First appearance of Big Varda. I found this in, um, I think in Alhambra. There was a store over there in Alhambra somewhere. And there was a half off bin. And I pulled this out of there for six bucks. First appearance of Big Varda. That's what I paid for. Let's see. It's about a fine condition. I also pulled uh, Batman 43. Now I have two copies of this. I'm not sure which one I paid a dollar for and which one I paid cover. So let's just say I paid cover for this one. Uh, first appearance of Mr. Bloom. And uh, in his dollar bin, I picked this uh, Gen 13 number 33. This is actually the first uh, planetary. So let's go ahead and pull it out for you guys so you can see the other side. So yeah, this is the back of it. So first planetary there. All right. Now, uh, okay, I got this uh, this pack over at a what is it? At? Like a thrift store, antique store thing. I think this is the only thing I pulled out of there. I think I paid two dollars for it. So it's like it reprints uh, two through. I think it has reprints of two through six. And the only reason I got it is because it was still sealed, but. Let me see. Oh, no, it's 2 through 12. I guess they're random issues. Yeah, the, the only reason I got it is because it was still in the package sealed. Um, okay, all right. This next stuff, I got this fairly recently. Uh, I think uh, about two, two, maybe three weeks ago. Um, I was at a store near San Diego, and I found this uh, X-Woman uh, one-shot. Let me see what I paid for this guy. I uh, paid five fifty for that, and then uh, this is a pretty nice one. So um, it looks like they're going around twenty bucks in uh, about near mint condition. So you know, uh, I think this is my second or third copy of this now. And I also pulled a Sensational uh, She Hulk number sixty. Uh, this is the last issue, uh, low print run, of course, hard to find. And I got the. Let me see what I paid for this. Three bucks, uh, four fifty. I paid four fifty for this guy. Good condition. All right, uh, this stuff here. I think I got this last weekend. Uh, this was at a store in Manhattan Beach, I think. Um, I went through the Deadpool stuff and I found um, Cable Deadpool number 38, first appearance of Hydra Bob. I got this guy for uh, $6. Let's see here. And I found another copy of Silver Surfer number 146, uh, the last hard, uh, last issue. Really hard to find, low print run. Uh, I paid $3 for this guy. And in their dollar bins, I managed to find uh, X-Men 92, the variant edition of number one for a dollar. And um, the variant of Secret Wars number five for a dollar. Now, um, let's see here. Uh, this one, I this is uh, Life with Archie, The Death of Archie, uh, number 36, the Adam Hughes variant. Uh, this is my second copy of this. Um, the first one, I think I paid a dollar or two dollars for it. And uh, when I was reading through it, I noticed the back. Uh, this is pretty, um, the, the card stock that they used uh, on the book, or the paper stock, it's pretty thick. And uh, it was pinched in the back. So it left a really nasty crease. And I managed to find this one for 50 cents. So... Yeah, I upgraded this copy, and I found another copy of Old Man Logan number four. I got this for fifty cents as well. Now, um, let's see what side I'm gonna go with. Now, this guy uh, is Cable Deadpool uh, number forty-three. is just a Wolverine appearance. I think I paid like three fifty for this guy. Some random store. Only book I got there. 
And all right, uh, all this stuff, I got all this stuff on the right at House of Secrets. So um, let me see, I pulled uh, Deadpool number 45. I got. I think I got this for, what did I get this for? I think I paid cover for this. Yeah, I paid cover price for this uh, first appearance of the evil Deadpool, the piecemeal one. <laughs> I also found uh, Deadpool Agent of Weapon X uh, number four, which is number 60 from the series. Uh, what did I pay for this guy? Oh, cool. Yeah, this is the one. I paid cover for this one. So I was like, what? <laughs> I was surprised when I found that in there. And I also got uh, Deadpool Funeral for a Freak, freak uh, part two. That's number 62 of the series, written by Frank Thierry. And I paid uh, $5 for this guy. Look at that. It's clean. What a nice copy. So I was happy about that. Uh, now this next bunch of stuff, I um, I pulled all this out of the dollar bin. So I got Battle Pope number 14, number 11. These are from the Image series. Uh, Battle Pope number 9, number 8. And check that out. Um, this is from the uh, the when this when this series was originally printed, it was printed on the Funkatron uh, label, and there was a Funkatron number four in there. All right, Battle Pope number seven is from the Image series. Battle Pope number six. Now the difference between oh, and the difference between these two is uh, they were originally printed in black and white, and uh, and the Image reprints there in full color. They're really nice. So um, it's it's actually worth having the image uh, books as well, just for that. It, the it just makes everything look a lot better. <laughs> uh, Battle Pope number six image, Battle Pope number five, and uh, I found a Funkatron uh, Battle Pope number three, a uh, image uh, Battle Pope number three, Battle Pope number two. And an image battle pope number one. I was pretty excited to find this. Um, you know, for a dollar bin, you can't really beat all that. And I was really excited to find the run. I I, um, I own the uh, the trades, and I always really like the story. But um, yeah, it never really took off. It's one of a, it's a Kirkman story, by the way. Uh, you know, same guy as Walking Dead. Uh, really good stuff. Really, really funny. <laughs> and I also pulled a uh, Black Canary Oracle, uh, Birds of Prey number one. And this looks like it's an upgrade to the copy that I already have. Fantastic Four number 15 is first appearance of Valeria. Might see a few of these, or a couple of these at least in this haul. Um, Action Comics number 645, first uh, Maxima, I believe. Mighty Thor 411, and these, this is the first appearance of the uh, New Warriors. Dollar bin, and this, this is a cool, this is really cool. Uh, I never find these in the wild, ever. I think this might be the first one I found, uh, Venom Carnage, uh, number four, and I got this for a dollar. <laughs> so I just need uh, the first three now to finish out the set. I think this is a four-part miniseries, but it's really cool. Um, Toxin appears in, was it one or two? I don't know, but uh, Toxin has his first appearance in this series. So I was really excited to find that. Yeah, I'll just leave these here. And uh, all right. So let's get on with it. Uh, this this stuff over here, this is all from Spiro's Heroes, and um, the last four four or five times I've gone in there, Spiro's thrown in a lot of the stuff. Because I'm not really, uh, I wasn't really picking up too too much stuff. I was just picking up stuff out of like his fifty cent bins, and um, he's just been giving me the stuff. He's like, "Eh, what do you got there? Like four dollars? I just take it." So <laughs> uh, there's a big stack of stuff behind this. That, that it's just accumulated, just the free stuff he's given me in the last couple months. Um, <clears throat> and what I do is like when I go in there, he, he gets his new inventory in and I, um, I'll, I'll tear it through the boxes. I'll help him pull, it, pull out all the keys and um, I'll let him know what, you know, um, if Longshanks is there too, he'll, we'll, we'll both kind of tell him, uh, you know, what's hot right now, which has popped up. And uh, that way he'll, you know, he doesn't have to research everything because, um, I don't know. Speaking personally, I don't know everything. But uh, if you got three guys in a room and you're all going through long boxes, you know, uh, between the three, you guys would probably do a pretty good job of picking out all the good keys. So um, this is a Dynamic Forces variant X Men number one from the Marvel Now series. Um, he had this up there for 10 bucks. Um, <laughs> he ended up giving it to me for five, so I was really happy about that. I just like the cover. 
you know, nothing special, but uh, just like these dynamic forces uh, variants. And I finally got a spawn number one, first appearance of spawn. Uh, I only ever wanted to pay five bucks for it. And all these years, you know, I, I found it, but it was always beat up. And I finally found my five dollar copy. <laughs> so I'm really, so I'm happy about that. That was cool. Uh, this is X Factor number 68. This is, let me see. I believe the issue before this is where um, uh, K Baby Cable gets uh, infected with the uh, techno organic virus. Um, but this issue is the one where um, the us county come back from the future and um, take Baby Cable to the future. So this is where this is where uh, Scott Summers uh, stops raising a child in the series. So uh, yeah, so they you know duke it out with Apocalypse, and that's a whole big thing. So this is where Baby Cable goes back into the future. And I managed to pull uh, two copies of that. I, I believe I paid fifty cents for both of these. Uh, I paid fifty cents for this. This is the E for Extinction um, Cyclops Secret Wars variant. I paid fifty cents for that. Very clean, really nice copy too that was in that box. Uh, all of these uh, books I just showed, they're they're all in great shape. They're like near mint. Uh, I just pulled this. Um, this is the uh, the X, X Babies variant of X Men uh, four sixty one. Again, fifty cents. Uh, Secret Wars number nine. Uh, I just pulled this for a dollar. Just trying to complete this uh, this Secret Wars run as cheap as possible. And I've been doing a pretty good job of it so far. Uh, Carnage number one. Um, paid a dollar for this. And, uh, oh, this was cool. Um, this is Wolverine number 88, the del deluxe edition. So it has a nicer paper. This is the um, first battle between uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. I pulled this out of his $2 bin. Again, near mint copy. It's really nice. And, um, man. Uncanny X Men number 221. This is the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. And it's actually really crumpled. It's really beat up. Um, the spine's alright, actually. It doesn't. No, now that I'm looking at it, uh, not, not too much of it. It can't be pressed out of it. Pressed out or dry cleaned. So, um, you know, it's not too bad. Not too bad of a pickup for two bucks. But when I was going through my things, uh, specifically when I was going through this book, just to check it out, see how bad it was. Um, a uh, little happy, uh, discovery here. I found it was a Mark Jewelers variant. So check that out. If you've never seen a Mark Jewelers variant, it's what it looks like, or similar to that. So I didn't even know they had a Mark Jewelers variant to this book. So I picked that up for two bucks and, uh, you know, I'll, uh, see if I can get it pressed out. So that was really, a really nice little discovery there. So up next, all right, this is all the free stuff that I got at Spiro's Heroes the last four months. Now this is uh, Uncanny X-Men, the annual number 14. And last time I was in there, I was helping them go through some boxes and I pulled out a, a Batman Year One issue, uh, a Sword of the Brad X, a bunch of other stuff. But um, we also pulled these four copies, Uncanny X-Men number 14, and he threw them in. <laughs> he just gave them to me. Now, um... They're all pretty decent copies, except, I don't know if you could see that, but the spines are all just really bad. You see that? So, you know, they're like reader grade copies, but, you know, I'll take them for free. He didn't want them. He just, as soon as he saw them, he was like, all right, he's got to get out of the store. <laughs> like, they were trash. So I was like, hey, you know what, I'll take them. I'll take them. So I, I'm pretty sure I can find a home for these. Now, um... While I'm putting these away, I'll just talk about that book. That's uh, Daredevil number uh, 293, another meeting between... Oh, all right. Oh, well. It's a good thing there's a reader copy. Uh, <laughs> all right, so that's Daredevil 293. This is uh, yeah, another Punisher appearance. Really cool cover, and it's nice and black. This got thrown in for free. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 339. It's just a uh, really cool Eric Larson cover, I believe. Uh, Green Arrow number 40. This is uh, the first brick. First appearance of brick. Uh, I think this one might have had some heat on it for a little while, but it's it's dead now. It's dead. I was going to pay 50 cents for it, but he just threw it in. <laughs> and, you know, um, I never found this book in the wild. I finally find it, and, uh, you yeah. know, 
No, it's not worth anything, but whatever. I got one. Uh, Batman number 619. I may already have this variant, but uh, just to be sure, I was going to pick it up. And again, this is one of the books that Elliot ended up throwing in. Uh, Batman number 318, first appearance of Firebug. Looks like it's a newsstand. Avengers 225. I believe this is the um, uh, Black Knight joining the team. Silver Sable number 30. I, mean, I could never find these things, and now I'm, you know, I, this is probably like my third or fourth copy. This is a, um, actually, you know, let me just show this. Uh, this is a uh, Deadpool cameo appearance. It's really hard to find, though, but I'll show you guys what the big deal is. You know, uh, more dealers are catching me on to this stupid book, and, um, you know, trying to charge more and more for it. I think it's kind of steady around ten dollars if they know what they have here. So, just like give me a second. Now, the thing about this book, it has uh, an insert. It has like a uh, card, like a mail away card, so that you can, uh, what is it, to order CDs or something like that. Something. But anyway, this is it. That's what all the. Uh, that's what it's all about, right there. See that guy. <laughs> That one little panel right there, that's your Deadpool appearance. Alright. Let's see. And the card is for a personalized comic book order form. So I guess you fill in your name and they put your name on a comic book or something. Alright. I also found Batman Angle number 25. This is a really good read if you um if you haven't picked it up, uh, find it cheap. This one's all beat. Really, really beat. But I got it for free and um it's a really good read. You find out what happens to uh, to Jason Todd, how he makes his return from the dead. Really interesting read. Uh, this is uh, New X-Men, number 114. I think I already have a copy of this. And this one is, uh, I think this one is a lot worse condition. <laughs> this is the first appearance of Cassandra Nova. Uh, Justice League Europe, number one. I can't even remember why I picked that up. Uh, Action Comics number 595, uh, first appearance of uh, Silver Banshee. This might be my third copy now. Catwoman number 72, uh, just a nice Zatanna cat. It's got Zatanna on it and Catwoman um, Adam Hughes cover. Again, <laughs> X-Men number 95. You know, uh, I was just talking about how much I like those, uh, the 12 issues, and this is one of them. It's got thrown in for free. Uh, Fantastic Four number 15, there it is. Another first appearance of Valeria. Wolverine number 100, this is the new stand variant. I think, or the, um, yeah, the uh, the regular one has a chromium, you know, a hologram cover. So, I believe this is a new stand variant, although it says direct edition. <laughs> uh, X-Force number 47 is just a Deadpool appearance. Another copy of uh, Birds of Prey number 1. And uh, this is probably like the best book that I got out of uh, all that free stuff. It's uh, Ghost Rider number 93. This is the uh, really hard to find last issue of this run. And it's uh, it's got a bit of a spine roll. Um, I, you know, it's, it's okay. I think it's in about fine condition. And um, I guess it goes for a little bit of cash. But um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a weird book. I was, uh, I was reading through it and... Uh, you see Black Hearts forcing a, a de, uh, he's forcing Ghost Rider to to marry two uh, two chicks at the same time. <laughs> so it's it's kind of creepy and Black Hearts there and he's trying to you know you kind of like insinuating you know it's time for you guys to go get it on. I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's kind of a dumb but I don't know you know a lot of Ghost Rider uh, stories aren't very interesting. At least this one was kind of funny and stupid. So um, moving on. All right, uh, this stuff got over at the Claremont Packing House, I think. Yeah, this is from the Claremont Packing House. This is from a couple different shows. So, um, another Gambit, number one. It's from the uh, ongoing series. I paid a dollar for this. Um, G.I. Joe, number 53. This is 25th anniversary issue. I believe it's a uh, Mike Zick. Zick cover. It's really cool. A dollar. Uh, Fantastic Four number 13. I can't really tell you why I got that one. I can't remember. I think I might have uh, at the time mistaken it with a uh, first appearance of Valeria for some reason. I don't know. 
Uh, this was cool. I was happy to find that. Uh, Incredible Hulk, uh, Future Imperfect uh, 2 of 2. It's uh, the maestro on the cover, Evil uh, Incredible Hulk. If you haven't read this story, it's another good one. Another <clears throat> another angry Hulk in the future going crazy. Uh, cool. Check it out. Dollar. I got another, I think, the last, uh, in my last vid, I showed Avengers 316, and I, 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 don't, I didn't think I mentioned it, but I got that one for a dollar. I got this one for a dollar, too. This is the um, issue where Spider-Man joins the Avengers. A little bit of spine roll, not too bad though. Let me see, what did I, uh, actually no. No, I'm sorry, that was just a glare. This is actually a really clean copy. This is probably the best one I have. Bam. Uh, X-Men 97, again, from the, the 12 uh, series. Dollar for this. Uh, X-Men number 60. This is a, probably the hardest X X-Men book to find. Uh, this is um, tied into the 12 series. I believe this uh, 60 is right before 97 in the storyline. So um, 59 and 60 tie into the 12, but for some reason it doesn't say the 12 on it. So um, yeah, if you're a completionist, you're going to need uh, X-Men 59 and 60. These are really hard to find, <laughs> but this is about my third copy. But keep in mind, I've been looking for them for a while. Um, new X-Men number 134, I believe, is the first Clinton Choir. Dollar. This is all dollar stuff. Uh, Wolverine number 160 as uh, again, the first appearance of, uh, Mr. X, one of my favorite villains. Just a, uh, a douchebag version of Taskmaster. <laughs> but, cool cover. I like the red. Uh, Wolverine, uh, number 156. Uh, this is right, right after the uh, the Deadpool Wolverine uh, uh, appearance. Uh, Life was doing the cover. Uh, Punisher War Journal number seven. So I was happy to find this. Uh, you know, I've got a few of these now. Um, those were crazy wall books when I was a kid too. This this book, this one and six went for a lot of money when I was a kid, or it seemed like a lot of money at the time, but I can't really recall now. They're, they're always on the wall, and now they're just bargain bin books, but. Um, they've been drying up. You, you can't really find them in the, in the bins anymore. They're, they're disappearing. So, uh, you know, I think I'm gonna start picking them up again just because they're becoming scarce in the bins. And, uh, the big book I guess I got that day was, uh, Marvel graphic novel, uh, number 17. And this is supposed to be the retcon first appearance of Apocalypse. So, man, that was cool. What did I pay for this? Uh, paid $3. Pay three dollars for that. Now uh, the cover, <laughs> the the actual cover, the front and back, uh, this kind of has like shelf wear, little scuffs this here and there, but inside's perfect. But the outside, you know, it's seen better days. But for three bucks, you can't really beat that, right? Let me put this stuff down. All right. Um, another Claremont Packing House show. I found this stuff. I believe I paid a dollar for. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Marvel Comics Presents, number one, dollar, East of West, uh, number one, first print. It's got a couple ticks, but other than that, not too bad. Paid a dollar for this. Spawn, number eight, just a cool cover. It's cover swipe of uh, Spider-Man, number one. Or is that, is that, <laughs> you know what, it's been so long I can't even remember anymore. Is it the other way around? Well, either way, uh, paid a dollar for this. Amazing Spider-Man, number 212, first appearance of Hydra-Man. I paid <clears throat> four dollars for this guy. Amazing Spider-Man 222 for his appearance of the Speed Demon. I paid three bucks for this, and uh, the gem of uh, that day was this book here. I know it doesn't look like much, but if you look carefully on the top left, you'll see uh, <clears throat> see this little insignia here. Uh, DC was trying out a new logo at the time. It's kind of like a um, a test logo, yeah, that's what it's called. And uh, Fury of Firestorm, Nuclear Man number 61. Uh, this is one of those books. Uh, they didn't really make a lot of them, they didn't print too many of them. And uh, as a matter of fact, if you find any any uh, Fury of Firestorm number 61, it's going to have a different cover as well. So, um, not only does it have the uh, the test logo, it has a different cover. And uh, man. <laughs> Uh, these things can go for go for a lot of money. I don't know. I think about 60 bucks or something Maybe more maybe less. I don't know. I haven't haven't looked them up on uh, eBay recently, but this is one of the books that I want to get uh, dry cleaned and pressed and 
Um, I believe this is my second copy of this now. So, um, yeah, I was really happy to find that. I paid $11 for this. I think he had it marked at like, no, wait, I paid 10 for it. He had it marked at uh, 21 with half off. So it came out to, you know, 10 15 I think he just said screw it and took 10 So I was uh, really happy to find that. Yeah. Yep. Getting down to it. All right, this stuff was found. Oh, oops. This one. <laughs> All right. So that book there. Um, this past weekend went on a little tiny road trip with um, Longshanks. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, last weekend. And uh, this is one of the stores I hit up. And the only, this is the only book that I found there that I wanted. I think I, I, paid, I ended up paying $7 for that. So not too bad. Anytime you could pay uh, less than 10 bucks for these um, Agent of Weapon X or uh, Funeral for Freaks, that's, uh, that's a pretty decent deal. Seven bucks is good. Yeah. Um, same day. Yeah, same day. I started, I picked up this stuff, uh, store down the way. This is a Civil War choosing size. I paid $5 for this, which, um, you know, I, I kind of checked afterwards. That's market value, and I, I really don't like doing that, <laughs> paying market value for anything, but, you know, it's going to happen every once in a while. And I found a um, Spider-Man Deadpool number one. Got another copy of this just because of the variant. I, I just thought it was kind of funny. Um... Pay five or uh, cover price for this. Captain America 25. I got the variant edition of his death. Three dollars. That was cool. Uh, this is cool. This is a really nice find. Uh, New X Men 115. Uh, another. I got another copy of uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead's first appearance. And um, this is really nice copy. Uh, when, when I was taking it apart and rebagging and boarding it, I noticed that it would. It was a bag and board inside of another bag and board. So this this was like double protected for some reason. But let me see. They haven't marked that. I think it uh, paid $3 for that. Yeah, I just paid $3 for that. And um, it's kind of a stealth buy. Well, I mean, I guess a lot of these were stealth buys for what I paid for. But I only paid $6 for that. Check that out. <laughs> Black Panther number 23, Cat Trap Part 2 of 2. This is my second copy of this, and uh, yeah, there was a there was a whole bunch of uh, really expensive Deadpool books around it, and uh, that was that was in there, but for some reason they only had it marked at six. Now I took a look at it, and um, it's not in too bad condition. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, it's like a VF. Yeah, it's like a VF copy, and I only paid six bucks for it. Yeah, so I was really happy for that. And then on the wall, when I walked in, I noticed that X-Men number 45. This is just a, a Silver Age X-Men book. I'm trying to complete the run. And I thought it looked pretty clean. And it is pretty clean now. Uh, for how old it is, it's, it was a nice copy. Um, hit it marked at 25. I was trying to get him down to 15, but he wouldn't budge past 20. So I ended up picking it up for 20. Which, um, I guess that's what they're kind of going for, but... Um, yeah, whatever, you know, another one to fill out the run, and at least it's a nice copy. Uh, this last stuff here, all right, so, um, Longshanks kick, kicked it down with his book, his, uh, Carnage Mind Bomb, number one, pretty hard to find book, uh, I've never seen it in the wild, and, all right, so, these last... Uh, I think it's two books. These last two books, I found these over at uh, Jeffrey's Comics. I walked in there one day, and um, they were just sitting up on the wall. <laughs> and uh, I thought the price looked pretty good, and I generally try not to pay, uh, you know, wh whatever the, the price is. But um, just my luck, the, um, the owners weren't there, so I couldn't really haggle. And, uh, <laughs> and, and the guy behind the counter that day, he's... Eh, you know, I don't say anything bad about the guy, but he's not the friendliest guy, so it's kind of hard to <laughs> kind of hard to deal with him. But anyway, I got him to call the um, call one of the owners. He offered, and I said, "Sure, yeah, go ahead, call him." And um, I haggled these down. I got them both for fifty bucks for the set. 
So I got Deadpool number 54 and 55. Let's get this out of the way. So <laughs> these have eluded me for a really long time. Um, I was picking up a lot of these Deadpool uh, issues back when it was coming out. But <laughs> these two specifically uh, eluded me. Um, they got hot really quickly and, um, I just said, screw it. I'm never going to pay. I'm never going to pay what they want for them. But, um, uh, seeing what they've been going for and the condition they're in, I guess 50 bucks ain't too bad for the, for the set there. And, you know, I really, <laughs> really would have liked it at least you know, about 45 bucks, but, um, yeah, I guess talk to the owner over the phone and, um, yeah, I got them down 10 bucks or whatever. So. Yeah, that's my haul. I got a whole bunch of books in. I got a haul, um, a comic con or a comic book con convention coming up. A little surprise one in uh, on Sunday. So maybe I'll pick some stuff up there. I don't know if I'm going to have enough stuff to uh, have a haul next week, but uh, <clears throat> if I do, I'll uh, probably post it around Friday. So uh, yeah, that's my haul. Hope you dug the books, and uh, yeah, talk to you guys next time. Have a good night.